Howdy everyone from Long Haul. Uh, this is my attempt at doing a not so long, not so entirely boring tour. Uh, August 15th, 2017, the annual tour. This year I decided to do the tour while we're actually growing stuff. And I got my co-pilot Sylvan here. How's it going Sylvan? Doing good? Yep. So we got some chard and some uh, kale and collards and broccoli and all kinds of stuff going on in our raised beds here, some sunflowers, um, cabbage. Uh, I don't know exactly how many raised beds we have now, something like 15 or 17 or something like that. Uh, the strawberry patch did well this year. That uh, I was harvesting quite a bit of strawberries for a little bit there. Um, we've got some chamomile and some tomatoes over here. Um, there's uh, some Brussels sprouts, two beds of Brussels sprouts, and the birds. Hello, birds. How's it going? We got 20 something, I don't know, 28 chickens now, something like that. Um, this lighting is terrible, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's see. How's it going, birds? We uh, hatched two batches of chicks this year. You can kind of see the chicks over there in the corner. Um, some of the chicks and some of the, ooh, the not so chicks anymore, the chickens now, the teenage chickens. There's another strawberry patch. Here's the walking onions. Uh, here's the, the greenhouse, the new greenhouse edition, which we started all of our seeds in this year. And it's, uh, well, I finished it before the winter and it held up to the snow well, but uh, needs to be insulated. Uh, it's not insulated at all. Uh, and we were heating it through our house, uh, through the window, and yeah, it was uh, didn't work very well without insulation. So I'm going to put some plastic up over here and some pink foam or something down there. But uh, yeah, it should work better this year. Still worked, we just had to burn a lot of wood and uh, bring things in and out of the house. And there's the storage structure, not much has changed with that. Uh, got a couple little side rock gardens here. Uh, with walking onions and radishes. And here's the rock garden with uh, some of the strawberries got eaten up real bad by the voles in this area uh, in the winter. Um, got an apple tree planted there in the back, but still have some strawberries there. And uh, yeah, a little mound of walking onions back there. I've just been planting walking onions everywhere. There's a there's some and near the bases of trees couple more uh, sunflowers here by this rock and then uh, another new and there's the house it hasn't changed a whole lot I think since last tour um, here's the uh, actually I can't remember if I did the inside tour when it was finished or not I think it was there's another apple tree this is a pretty flower um, here's the greenhouse the hoop house it's uh, we got this up this spring Got the plastic on, and I don't know if you can see with this terrible lighting, but oh yeah, there we go. There's uh, a lot of tomatoes hanging from the vine here. So, doing pretty good on that. Got some ground cherries over there. I got Sylvan reaching for green tomatoes there. Uh, and some basil here. I've been harvesting a lot of basil. And we got some more tomatoes over here that are just not doing as much, but we kind of... Yeah, anyway, we'll... we'll it's uh, little by little. So then we got the four plum trees here now. These cages here and that one right there. That, and then uh, we thought it died, but it didn't. Um, some nettles. Uh, mulched the paths here, and we've got all kinds of stuff going on in here. We've got some squash and like a tomato. I think we we just put like all the stuff we didn't know we had extras of, like in this general area. But yeah, that's a plum. That's a plum. It's an apple, a cherry tree back there. Here's our garlic rose. Um, another apple, another apple. Uh, we thought we dug up all the Jerusalem artichokes last year, but we didn't quite. And some of them are really thriving in this area. Oh yeah, we spread a bunch of chickety, uh, chicken bedding in there and stuff's just loving it. It's great. Um, and then you can see the outside of our hoop house. Um, yeah, another apple tree over in that corner. Uh, these are some ligand berries that are 
surviving but not growing very quickly. The rabbits were eating them really bad when we first transplanted them. Uh, got a bunch of currants planted in here. You can't see them yet. Here, I'll zoom in on one. Uh, this is a gooseberry, I think. Currants and gooseberries. We planted about 20 or so varieties. There's some berries on that one already. Uh, transplanted this spring. We got some broadcast turnips and radishes, random radishes here and there. Uh, these Juneberry trees that used to be here got girdled really bad by rabbits or something this winter. Oh, and then we got more Jerusalem artichokes coming up there. Um, but then they, they, they're sprouting back up, so that's good. They're suckering up. This one didn't quite get girdled as bad, but it's still alive. There's the rhubarb. Here's our current that's doing just awesome. So, yeah, like I said, 20 different varieties of currants. And there's a turnip that was just a broadcast seed that it's like the size of like my head almost it's crazy there's a couple of really big ones here that's uh they're planted in the uh yeah chickadee doo-doo area the from our uh chickens that's a very fertile area some oregano there and random onion sets and all kinds of stuff in here um then we got the we just took down the uh uh sugar snap peas uh off the uh this trellis here, and we got rows of green beans here. We actually, this was where we grew. We got a mint patch here and there. This is where we grew our squash. We had this big mound last year, and we flattened it all out and moved some of the dirt to different raised beds in different areas. And uh, then we dug holes in the rows, like a foot deep, and then filled it with mulch. And yeah, we've been we got the chipper last year. Been doing a ton of mulch. Just a ton of chipping. We got piles everywhere, separating hardwood and softwood. Not sure if that does anything, but we'll, uh, we're using the softwood for paths and the hardwood more to try to build soil around the fruit trees and stuff like that and top feed. So yeah, anyway, then uh, over here, and you know, we moved some of the piles of dirt where the where the uh, sunflowers are growing out out there. I think we saw everything over here already. So we'll wander wander over to. Oh yeah, there's Damien's tiny house that he's building. It's, uh, you know, he's got the, he's getting pretty close to the roof there. So, he'll get it on before winter. It's only August. <laughs> so, yeah, then, uh, oh yeah, we got carrots over here too, and some beets somewhere in there. There's some carrots, and broccoli's already been harvested. Um, and yeah, more cabbage. And more tomatoes in that little pile of dirt. Been doing some clearing over in this area, um, and had a few uh, friends staying with us. So uh, all of which who requested uh, to not be in this video today. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're uh, anyway. We've cleared this area for the sound. The sound is going to go in that vicinity. And that little thing right there is our future well. Right now it's just a really, really deep, like 600 foot deep, really expensive dry hole uh, with a pipe in it, uh, part of it. So we haven't hit water yet. And uh, we're going to get water out of it somehow. But it's, uh, anyway, that's what's going on with that. Sound is going to be right here. I uh, did some clearing around this area and scooped out some... Uh, stumps with the excavator and then we've changed our future home site to the pile of logs the pile of cedar logs that's going to be used for the sauna and did some clearing through here and this is going to be like a drive it's kind of going to go behind the uh, house and in front of the sauna where i'm standing um yeah we've been uh yeah i was just in here ripping out stumps with the excavator today been getting pretty busy with the sawmill lately um uh, family that's staying with us is uh, building a house uh, or going to be building a house uh, possibly this winter possibly next year uh, to stay in and right over here and so been milling a whole bunch of dimensional lumber for that house for a stick frame house uh, I got a bunch of balsam logs over here almost all balsam a few spruces here and there there's a couple of aspens in this pile but yeah just been uh, Milling lots of wood there. Um, 
And so here's the, there's our chipper. It's hiding under that tarp. Uh, over here, we have the site excavated and we ran into some really crazy bedrock. Uh, I have all the foundation holes I've dug. Usually I just hit bedrock and it's not this crazy, but I don't know if you can see there, but there's like 45 degree angles like there, there, that's like a probably 70 degree angle. Uh, over there, it's a steep angle. So we kept, where we wanted to put these forms, we kept hitting these really steep angles of rock or like it got really steep there. Anyway, we got it string lined out and we got it figured out, but we're trying to figure out how to cut the forms to, to the shape of the rock and it's a pain in the butt. So I don't know, we'll get the foundation done this year and then we'll see what's going on. And yeah, you can see this is right next to the A-frame where the family is staying. And uh, over there, we got uh, their tents over there. And my kids are playing with their kids over in the tent. Um, and a big dirt pile. That's been a big hit with the kids. It's been awesome. So, yeah. Then we got, uh, let's see, some more, more beams and such for the... Uh, for the house that they're building, some piles of firewood, uh, some beams, some more beams. Uh, oh yeah, and then our other friends that are staying with us, um, who actually just had a baby. Uh, really exciting. We now have uh, currently at the moment uh, we have seven adults and seven kids living here. Um, so go over to their future house site. There's those cedar logs again. That's where our house will be. Kind of southwest facing. This is southwest facing down the slope there. Towards the gardens and towards the future orchard, which will be kind of in front of it. And there's the where the, the family's house will be. And our house is over here. And it'll all be facing the orchard. There's another apple tree. Uh, there's another apple tree there. There's a grapevine. Planted some blackberries here this year as well. Um, so this is the uh, winter firewood for our friends who just had a baby and are building a yurt. And here's their, uh, here's their yurt platform. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, uh, oh, that's my tent that blew over in the wind. I should probably take care of that. Uh, yeah, and there's a tent that they have set up temporarily. Um, yep. So, ah, the lattice work has got to be somewhere around here. It's really cool. I want to show you that. There's a circle thing for their dome, the top of their yurt. And they cut a bunch of rafters from uh, balsam poles around here. I don't know where their lattice work ended up. So, oh well. Maybe we'll find it somewhere. There's those cedar logs again. Uh, now we'll go into the garden. Back into the garden. So we've got a couple more raised beds here. Three more raised beds with some kale and some cabbage and some chard and some broccoli and onions. Amelia started these onions from seed and they're freaking huge. They're like the size of onions. It's only August 15th. This is great. It's pretty awesome. Um, and two two beds of onions. We're eventually going to have, this is like kind of a south southwest slope here, mostly south, uh, just so in front of the house there'll eventually be a bunch of raised beds and all kinds of stuff. We're going to probably eventually have to fell these trees because they are more or less directly to the south. It's going to um, block our solar. And there's two huge piles of mulch sold in hardwood. Um, and that's the, our chipper spits the mulch into this topper thing that we built out of some junk uh, on into our truck. Uh, we'll go in this garden, see what's going on in here. Oh, we got robins. Uh, there's our hugel bed that we made a few years back. Did green beans in it last year. This year's squash. The squash seems to be loving it. Um, it's really taking off. And I'm seeing some seeing some squashes there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. There's some squash. Uh, the zucchini's been going nuts, of course, right about that time of year. Oh yeah, that's, that one's getting pretty close. Um, then we got a honeyberry there. 
Uh, another honeyberry. We planted like seven more honeyberries. This one we planted through two or three years ago. Eh, two years ago, I think. So we planted one, two, three, four, five, six more. There's an apple tree. There's an apple tree. There's an apple tree that's struggling. There's an apricot um, that's also kind of died. The top of it died off in the winter, but it seems to be coming back all right. Uh, more currants, more varieties of currants. There's a, you can't really see them that well, but we planted like 10 currants in this garden and 10 in the other garden, something like that. Uh, there's an apple tree that's doing awesome with apples on it. This is one of the first apple trees we planted three or four years ago. I can't remember. Uh, and this is the other one that was one of the first ones we planted. Look at that. There's that squash coming, just going all over the path and everything. The blueberries. Uh, we have like 30 blueberry plants or something like that now in three rows. So hope you can see this because I can't see it very well. So uh, they've got some blueberries on them. I don't know if you can... Yep, blueberries. My kids have been harvesting them. Um, there's a volunteer Juneberry. Uh, there's another apple tree, another apple tree. Uh, raspberries, ripe raspberries. Oh boy. I've been eating tons of raspberries the past few days. Here you go, Sylvan. Yep, yum. Um, you can pretty much fill up on them every day. So we got three rows of raspberries. This was this, this was, or no, four rows. This was the original thing we established in this garden. And we've just been, this, these rows of raspberries, and we've been expanding from there. So four rows of raspberries, uh, three rows of blueberries. There's the other blueberries in here. Then uh, mulch in between in the path. Um, back here, we have a couple, um, there's another apple tree, a couple of uh, ronia berry there, ronia berry here, two cultivated june berries, another apple tree. Um, we did like, I don't know, probably like half of this planting in the last year. There's another uh, gooseberry or currant, there's another one hidden under there. Uh, there's catnip and walking onions and comfrey and lovage and there's our original current plant right there all surrounding this apple tree which all kind of have a symbiotic relationship there's another big current plant under that apple tree and there's another grape on the grape arbor that i think i made last year and i don't remember if that was part of the tour but um oh and there's a random squash here that's cool um and uh yeah another apple tree uh there's another one of those June cultivated June berries. We've got a sea berry there. Just planted that this year. Oh, geez, I'm kicking stuff and breaking things. And there's some, um, looks like some peas or something. We broadcast seed here last year, and I don't know if Amelia did it this year or not, but we've, we're getting some random stuff growing, which is cool. Like some, I think that's like annual rye or something like that. Um, that crazy looking grass. Uh, another apple tree. Uh, another apple tree that Amelia grafted. More currants. N another apple tree. Another apple tree. There's one more apple tree you can't see over there. Um, we'll just go see it. There's another current. There's another current. There's the apple. One of the apple trees that Amelia grafted last, and it seems like it's taking pretty well. You can kind of maybe see the graft there. Maybe you can't. Um, we could have cages around everything, or else the voles just eat everything up. Um, oh yeah, the grapes. Oh, awesome! There's grapes on this grape plant. That's exciting. I thought that one died, but it's it either came back or it didn't die, or I don't know. And there's another apple tree, and there's another current right there. And um, yeah, this is our. Oh yeah, there, here's the here's the one that the other one Amelia grafted, which is doing just great too. Um, we took a grafting class together and she grafted two trees and I uh, practiced grafting but didn't graft anything. Um, yeah, there's another uh, current. And, ooh, more apples on this tree too. It's pretty exciting. So yeah, eventually we've done a ton of clearing down in here in this area, which is, that's like almost due south, straight that way. So we've done a ton of clearing of the underbrush. I don't know how well you can see it. We've chipped all the underbrush, and that's where these giant piles of mulch came from. And um, we're eventually uh, going to 
be clearing more and making sort of swales and planting in some, you know, some kind of orchard food forest down there, basically. Um, and it sounds like Galvin's not being good. How's it going, Jen? You want to say anything to the camera? It's the tour. Well, anyway, I'm almost done with the tour anyway. So, if I go check on Galvin and Genevieve. And, uh, yeah. Um, that's, uh, most of the, most of the tour for this year, I think. I don't know. Oh, there's, ah, maybe there's one more thing that I'll show you in a little bit here. But, um, I'll, I'll edit that if, if I do. So, yeah. Well, this is pretty good. I kept it to 20 minutes here so far. I might even do a little editing. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see. That's, uh, yeah, it was mostly the food tour. That part of it, at least. Uh, might do a little bit more. What do you think, Sylvan? Pretty good tour. I wasn't quite as long-winded as usual, right? Yeah, hopefully not. I don't know how anyone could possibly listen to me for more than five minutes. So, okay. So, and how's Galvin doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah, let's go look at Damien's place real quick. We're gonna go look at Damien's place. He's got some tomatoes, and he's been doing a little clearing too. So. You gonna come hang out with Dad? So as soon as Damien gets the, uh, well, I, I don't know, pretty soon here we're going to move his, uh, he's got to do a little bit of, like, cutting this snag and a couple other trees uh, on that trail. But we're going to pull his trailer through here and uh, pull it right up to where his teepee is. And we're going to set his teepee up over there in the sort of community area, community fire pit area. Um, Damien's got a little bit of firewood for the winter stocked up. And that's good. Um... And he cut some couple few big trees that were right next to his teepee and right to the south here. And he's got some tomatoes. I think that's all he's growing. I don't know, tomatoes and weeds. But weeds are nice. I mean, some of them. I like certain weeds. Oh, there's a big red juicy tomato. Look at that. That one looks like it fell right off. Damien better get back here and eat that those tomatoes. What do you think, Galvin? Yep, that is. We're going to leave it for Damien, though, because hopefully he'll get home and eat that tomato right up, right? So. Yeah. I guess that uh, concludes this portion of the Long Haul 2017 tour. I'll probably be doing my tours from now on in the summer when we're actually growing things, because um, it's kind of, you know... Um, yeah, that's, it's more fun that way, I think. So, uh, yeah, you want to say, uh, want to say bye-bye from Long Haul? Bye-bye. All right. Bye, everyone. A couple more quick parts of the tour that I forgot. Um, right back here we have... The outdoor bathing area, the shower, gravity feed shower, and the bathtub that we have a fire under, and then get it hot. And then we also are cultivating, we've got some uh, shiitake inoculated logs, um, logs that we uh, are trying to grow shiitake mushrooms out of. Um, and uh, while I'm at it, I'll just show you all the parking lot and uh, the new parking lot that I just built. Uh, and the excavator and stuff like that. There's the trampling. Very important part of last year's tour. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I didn't really show on this tour, but you can watch past tours if you're really interested. Most of it's in past tours. There's an empty woodshed. It'll be full soon. There's a full woodshed, another full woodshed, another full woodshed, another full woodshed, another full woodshed, and one more full woodshed. On the end there. Oh yeah, we put a new bed on uh, Rududu. The other bed was rusting out, so 
You put this uh, giant metal box there, and it looks way more awesome now. Um, yep, more wood sheds, more logs, more firewood that hasn't been splitter stacked yet. And here's the, been working on the driveway a little bit with our uh, uh, dozer and the excavator. And hopefully, I'm almost getting it to the point where just this really short section of the driveway, that's our actual driveway off the road. I haven't worked on the road at all, really. Um, I'm kind of widening here. I ripped out some stumps there, dug a ditch here. Uh, still got a lot of grading to do, but uh, yeah, this area has been consistently wet and terrible. And this whole section of the driveway was really bad. But you can see it's actually pretty good now because I did a little bit of grading there and doing some ditching over here too. And uh, yeah, I don't know if this dried up at all. This was this is just like a kind of a hole here that is always like a giant mud puddle. But I piled a bunch of dirt on top of it and dug trenches and ditches and stuff. So hopefully it'll uh, drain out now. But we'll see. We'll uh, yeah, got to compact it a lot more first. And then here's the here's the uh, new parking lot right at the end of the driveway here. Uh, so we've got the excavator there um, and a couple junky trailers and yeah, plenty of space to to park now. So and turn around and all that. Just made this spent a couple days on this. You got some saw logs out of it too. What do you have to say about that, Sylvan? And there's our the continuation of our road. And there's the Yep. There's the road. Yep. Still got a lot of work to do here. But it's fun. Never get bored up here. That's for sure. Not with uh, three kids and endless projects. So, okay. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope I didn't talk too much. All right. See you next time. Oh, and if you have any questions about anything, um, just look up my website. I think it's there's a link to it on the YouTube page. Because I can't answer comments because Google is annoying and... Uh, so don't comment, just email me or something, figure it out. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Right, 